Hello guys, Crispy here and welcome back to another Sunday video and this is the first Sunday video or proper Sunday video of 2022 and it's gonna be a very crispy one indeed because I got a new camera so it's recording at 4k right now beautiful <laughs> so today we're gonna be testing a highly requested GPU here in the channel it's a budget card from 2010 this is the GeForce GTS 450 one gigabyte GDDR5. So as you can see, this is an EVGA model. It's overclocked out of the box. It needs a six pin power connector right there. This has 192 CUDA cores, which unfortunately is the same as the GT710. <laughs> but I'm hoping it's much faster than the GT710 because like even the GTS150 that I tested a few months ago was actually faster than the GT710. So yeah, this of course has higher memory bandwidth. It has more ROPs and TMUs. So don't you worry, it should be a faster card. All right, it consumes 105 watts of power I think <laughs> ah, I was wrong. It's 106 watts of power, kind of weird. And it released for 129 US dollars back in 2010. It was actually kind of a good deal for a GPU like this. It's an entry level card, of course. But hey, let's install this beauty in the system and see what it can do in 2022 shall we and it's desktop time we got the geforce gts 450 showing up there in msi afterburner along with the latest nvidia drivers available for it which are already four years old uh, this is a factory oc model of the card so these are the clock speeds and you can check out all of its specs here in tech power ups gpu z as i told you 192 cuda cores which is the same as the 710 but the bandwidth is much higher as well as the other specs over on the left you can see that we're running it with a Ryzen 9 5900X and 32 gigabytes of RAM just to avoid any CPU or RAM bottlenecks you should get around the same FPS if you pair this card with like an i5 2400 for example and now we are ready let's get into the first game I really miss Jack so let's start with GTA 5 we're playing in DirectX 10 1080p resolution using normal settings which are the lowest settings in this game advanced settings are all turned off Oh, what the heck is this? <laughs> uh, I need to change the the aspect ratio. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, I got scared for a second there. Michael was thinner than me. I don't like that. Okay, anyways, this is quite decent. All right. GTA 5 is an older title, obviously. It released back in 2015 for PC and 2013 for consoles. But you know what? This is an entry-level gaming GPU from 2010. The fact that it can actually play it fairly well at 1080p low settings it still manages to look good though at low settings is nothing short of amazing we're reaching 60 fps at times that's incredible oh i didn't tell you in the intro i actually bought this gpu for 25 euros today and this is the day before sunday so it's saturday oh my god what am i doing this wasn't really my plan for the sunday video gpu the, the ad just popped up <laughs> And I saw it, it was near me, I went to grab it, and it's here right now. Thankfully, because otherwise we wouldn't have a Sunday video. I was gonna make an i3-4160 CPU with Intel HD 4400, but the motherboard isn't really accepting dual-channel RAM, so I was a little bit screwed there. Jack's Hill, more intensive. Hello, Jack! How's it going? Boy, I almost hit you, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm go I'm doing well as well. Thanks for asking, buddy. Ah, uh, happy new year, by the way. Haven't seen you yet this year. <laughs> so bushes are super intensive. It does drop from 30 if you get inside of them. So I suggest you don't get inside of bushes. But you know what? This is a wonderful experience. Once again, guys, it's way better than a GT710. So I guess if you have a GT710, just sell it and buy one of these. It's worth it. I forgot to kill Bob, by the way. Fish, come on, Bob. I'm so sorry. Rex, he's fine. He's fine. Bob isn't. That's all that matters. Let's get to the next one. So Forza Horizon 5 actually crashed instantly. I couldn't get into the game. Forza Horizon 4 it is. We're playing at 720p, very low settings. Yeah, very low settings over here. I think this one also crashed, guys. Oh, come on. <laughs> at least you get 60 FPS in the, the, the menu, the video, you know, and 100 and something in the, the loading screen, but then it just doesn't load. 
Ah, this is not what I expected. Let's move on to the next one then. <laughs> Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Oh my god. What is this? What's happening here? <laughs> well, the GPU isn't really supported in this one, I guess. 720p resolution using uh, like 75% resolution scale there. And F Fidelity FX CAS is on. Oh, what the hell? Okay, so the FPS are actually decent, guys. But there are some very interesting glitches. We're trying not to stand out, and yet this is happening. So, oh, everybody's like this. FPS aren't really horrible. The game is not really stuttering whatsoever, but I I wouldn't play like this, guys. Valorant is up next, and we're playing at the 1080p resolution using high settings with low UI quality and no anti-aliasing. Here we go. These are pretty decent FPS. I got very close. All right, got him. I've never seen that guy before. Come on. Okay. I think, yeah, there's one close. Okay, got him. I got him. Still got this, guys. All right, we're fine. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh you stole my kill. Enemy down. Uh oh I'm screwed. No, I'm not. <laughs> I got it. There we go. Another one down. All right, this is totally playable, 100%. I like it. Ugh! Nice. Uh, yeah, for 25 bucks, you can actually have a decent GPU for Valorant. And if you play on low settings, it will be even better. I remember this is like the most intensive area of this map. Come on. Fire! You're annoying little bastards walking like this every time. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, not from behind. <laughs> oh, come on, man. I'm falling behind right now. Yeah. Another one down. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, nice. That was nice. Okay, another one. And one more, please. One more, please. I want the penta kill. Yes. Guess that one was an AFK guy, so it doesn't really count. But there it is. There it is, guys. There it is. First place now. There we go, we won! It's very playable, very smooth, I liked it. So we went back to horrible, this is Red Dead Redemption 2. We're actually playing at 800 by 600, or at least that's what I set in the config files. We're playing on the low settings, as you can see, I can't change these settings, like the water physics, for example, because the game doesn't allow me to apply changes because we are going over the VRAM limits. Rockstar, that's just stupid. Stop it, please. Holy crap, guys. This is absolutely terrible. Look at the FOV. Oh, it was just zoomed in. Okay. It's still horrible, though. <laughs> yeah, Red Dead Redemption 2 has that issue with the GPU utilization. These Fermi cards just can't ever be maxed out in this game. Uh, again, this game wasn't really meant to be played on these older GPUs. Also, it's good to see Roach, though. That's always worth it. So, buy the game just to see him. I'm kidding. Let's move on. This is Rust now. We're getting very beautiful FPS, 69. Ah, this is just amazing. So let's uh, see the settings. 720p resolution using the lowest settings possible, of course. We got one gigabyte of VRAM. This game is very VRAM hungry as well. Hungry. Wait, what the hell? Oh my god. So many people died here. What happened? A massacre. What the heck? Also, every time you go into the inventory tab, yeah, the FPS go down, but it doesn't really drop from 30, so it's absolutely fine in my opinion. It's very stuttery as well. You can see the frame time graph is all over the place, and you will need 16 gigabytes of, of RAM as a minimum. Hi, he's probably talking to us. I will help you bring down this tree. I don't like it either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just do that. I don't care. Oh, also, this is the forest area that I wanted to show you. It drops our FPS into the 30s. There's another guy here. He has clothes. Oh, there's a bear. Should we kill the bear? Should we... Oh, there's another guy. That... So many people here. <laughs> yeah, that looks absolutely terrible, guys. That is actually epilepsy inducing a little bit. That's been it for Rust. It is playable. It's not the best thing in the world, but... Well, 
I mean, nobody expected it to be. Arc Survival Evolved is next. We're playing at 800 by 600 using the low settings and 100% resolution scale. And uh, to my surprise, it is actually very playable. Look at this. I, I didn't expect 50 something FPS in this area. This is a demanding area as well. So outside of here, we could see 60s. That's pretty good for a GTS 450. We're getting around the same FPS as the 3080 Ti at 8K resolution using low settings. Arc is quite playable, a little bit better than Rust in my opinion, but in online play, it, it could be worse, of course. Uh, there are more things happening, bases and stuff like that, and that will kill your FPS for sure. So keep that in mind. But anyways, from what I've seen so far here in Arc, this is a go. If you got this game for free or if you can buy it for very cheap, it is a playable experience as long as you don't expect great graphics coming from this. Battlefield 1, 720p resolution using low settings and of course the newer titles like Battlefield 5 and uh, 2042 don't work in this card. Actually BF5 does with the mods uh, in the system. 32 folder, I think. Uh, oh, that's not a guy. <laughs> what the heck am I doing? All right, this runs quite well, actually, guys. No, 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 I'm fine, what the heck? Okay, I am not fine anymore. I find it very surprising that a GPU from 2010 can play a AAA Battlefield game from 2016. Battlefield 1 released six years after this card and it was so well optimized. It's a shame that the same thing can't be said whatsoever about 2042, you know? What the? She was bugging out, dude. What the hell? You do need, however, like an i7-2600 to achieve these FPS. Dota 2 is next. We're playing at the 1080p resolution using the medium settings, as you can see, 100% render scaling. So it's full 1080p resolution. And this is just me watching a game. I'm not playing it, but we can see the FPS like this. There's a little bit of a fight going on here. Okay, a few effects in the screen. I'm actually surprised to see these FPS because... 710 is nowhere near as powerful as this one. Although we are still seeing drops into the 40s and 30s at times, uh, it's not too bad. It's playable for a Dota 2 style game, in my opinion. Uh, unless you are very competitive, of course. In that case, you might want to lower it down to low. I actually started this on low settings, thinking that it would perform worse, but it was getting around like 120 frames per second. So <laughs> yeah, I bumped it up to medium and it performs pretty well, guys. I mean, for a, for an old GPU like this, um, this is amazing, basically. 25 bucks gets you a, a pretty solid 1080p Dota 2 experience with decent graphics. It still looks beautiful like this, in my opinion. Ah, what the actual hell? Okay, I, I, I was expecting a little bit better. Just because I remembered a GTX 460 to do a much better job here in this game, guys. Uh, this is bad. Okay, anyways, let's go over the settings. 720p resolution, 100% render scaling, very low. I think we're gonna go back to like 70% render scaling just to see if we can achieve 30 plus most of the time. Look in that direction. It's already dropping very close to 30 into the higher 20s. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, PUBG isn't one of those games that you should play with a GPU like this, guys. This is Team Deathmatch, by the way. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, assist. Seriously, who stole my kill? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, one down. Oh. I saw the other one, but I didn't really care. Level 500. It's a very big shame that PUBG Lite isn't available anymore. Where? What? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go uh, away from here. Your best bet is just to throw some grenades randomly, and then you're probably gonna get a kill. Is that a grenade? Yes, it is. <laughs> Assist and one. See, I did something there.
It's Fortnite time now. We're playing at 1080p performance mode using the competitive settings. So view distance set to far and the 3D resolution set to 100%. Look at that frame time whenever I'm looking in that direction. So weird. If I look in this direction, it's fine. But looking back, what the hell? But hey, at least we're getting 60s. That's not bad at all, especially considering that we're seeing a lot of trees around us. Inside of these bushes, yeah, it does drop 45. Okay, that's a little bit worse, but you know what? I I won't really complain. You know, oh, 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 there we go. That was a headshot, I think. Nice. This guy in front of me is playing on an Xbox One, I, I believe. And he actually asked me if I could um, build him a PC uh, for like 300 bucks that can play this game at 60 frames. Uh, this is pretty close, to be honest. I think I could do it for like 150 or something like that. Okay, I got him. I got him. I got him. What? I, I keep hearing steps. What? Oh, there he is. Okay. I'm screwed now, I think. <laughs> Let's play with the bush here. He can't see us inside of a bush, so we should be fine. Right, wait. Wait. Oh, nice. He got him. Oh, got him. Oh, oh there's another one there. Okay, I'm down. Ah. Uh... Okay, we really need to go. We really need to go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Go, 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 please. They're still there. Yeah, let's let's go away from here. All right, we got this. Oh my gosh. Buddy, no, don't stop. Don't stop. There are enemies. Wait, you got a tent? <laughs> okay. <laughs> buy tent? What? I don't want to buy... What? Do you jump? How did I jump like that? Well, FPS are dropping here. Okay. What the hell is happening now? God damn it. <laughs> I got so confused there. Apex Legends. We're playing this one at the 800 by 600 resolution, but it doesn't show up here because I set it in the launch options. It's not a supported resolution in this game, and we're playing on the low settings, of course. Okay, so looking at the entire map is always a struggle for these older cards, and I just remembered that Fermi does really badly in Apex Legends. This might be the first game where the GT710 beats the GTS 450, at least the GDDR5 model of the 710. Uh, but maybe not. I I think that one still dropped. Yeah, I mean it's it's it could be worse. I know somebody that plays this game on Intel HD graphics and gets like 15 or 10 FPS, and she has been playing this game for a long time like that. I have no idea how she does that. Uh, but yeah, 450 hours I think. <laughs> and actually, me and a friend of mine recently put together a PC with a 750 Ti for her, and she's been having a blast playing this game with like 50 fps but that's just to say that uh, although i don't really consider this a very good experience it is better than what some people are playing this game with oh god oh god oh, this is bad this is really bad okay okay i'm just gonna go now <laughs> thank you very much guys but I, I i'm not interested not interested at all no 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 oh god oh man are you serious okay all right, please, please, Bangalore. We got this right. <laughs> oh, what the hell? <laughs> it's all part of the plan, guys. They would never expect me to do that. <laughs> no, 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 I almost got my ultimate ready. Please. All right, there we go. There we go. This is all I want. To see some explosions. See how much it will drop, you know? Yeah? All right. So how much will it be? Ooh. 22, 21, it's not too bad. You gotta remember that this GPU was already nine years old when this game came out. Oh God, okay. All right, they're, they're up there. Yeah, I saw them, I saw them. He's there, come on. I shot him, that's a win, right? <laughs> oh, that's so bad, dude. That's really bad. And it's time for another adequate game for this card. This is CSGO 720p resolution using low settings for that competitive advantage. Oh my God, that's a lot of FPS. Okay. What? That's, that's bad. What? Stop. Oh my gosh, I hate bots in this game. They're so unpredictable. <laughs> Every single time, man. Bots Rick. Is that a bot as well? No, I don't think so. 
Uh, maybe he is. Yep, <laughs> it's bot Jamie. I am missing the flicks. I am missing the flicks. I don't like this. Is it because we are getting closer to 100 frames per second sometimes? I, it could be because of that or maybe because I am a bit um, rusty here in, in CSGO. Oh, that was a massive stutter. Every once in a while in this game. Uh, what? Whoa, whoa, it's bot Wade. It's bot Wade. <laughs> All right, bot Brad as well. Oh, God damn it. Bots are so annoying. Ah, uh, we got killed. Well, I'm gonna go with the AK. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, boy. Oh, that's a bot. That's a... Come on, <laughs> Kevin. Uh, right. Another one. And guys, I suck at CSGO now for some reason. I just... Maybe I'm tired or something, but... Hey, at least the FPS are really high and it's very playable and smooth and it could be a high refresh rate experience if you have a, a DVI 120Hz monitor or something like that. Uh, yeah, it's possible. It's very, very possible to play competitive like this. Just need to concentrate. Whew, I got, I had three bullets left there. Okay. Did I get the other one? I don't think so. Nope! <laughs> ah, I'm getting the hang of this now. I need some more kills, please. Get over here, dude, please. Okay, thank you. Another one, please. Come over here, people! Gosh, not like that. <laughs> oh, that was close, 703 points. All right, I'll take the loss here, uh, but it runs really well. 148 FPS on average there. It's pretty good. And it is conclusion time. Do I recommend the GeForce GTS 450 in 2022? I actually do. It's a recommendation from me. If you can pick it up for like 20 to 30 bucks, I say go for it. You can actually play a lot of older titles, uh, titles that I didn't even test in this video, like Left 4 Dead 2, for example, Team Fortress 2. Those will run absolutely perfectly on this card. CSGO, Valorant, Dota 2 are other games that work wonderfully well. Even some demanding titles could be playable on this little GPU, like Ark and Rust, for example. I didn't really think those would be very playable, but they were. And yeah, it's a good little card. Doesn't consume a lot of power. It's 106 watts. It's still a bit of power, but um, I could definitely recommend this card if you are on a budget. Also, be sure to grab the GDDR5 model because that's faster than the DDR3 model and uh, I'll catch you in the next one very soon. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, love you all. Bye-bye.